behind me is the travel trailer that everybody has been talking about at the Florida RV Super Show. Brinkley is the newest manufacturer in the game and they have killed it over the last year with their fifth wheel. And now allow me to introduce their first travel trailer to you. This is the 2024 Brinkley Model Z Air. Model is 295. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited that we are getting our first chance to actually see the new model Z Air here in Florida at the Florida RV Super Show about a week before it opens. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. It's a little chilly down here in Florida. Yes! I expecting, but um, I'm so excited to take a look at this Brinkley. Uh, Brinkley has really done a phenomenal job with their fifth wheels and they're carrying a lot of it over into their travel trailers. It's just gonna make for a re really, really well-built, uh, really well-liked travel trailer, so I'm excited. I'm excited to see it too, and Will, I already have a little bit of um, opinions about this, but I'm gonna save that to myself till the very end. Okay. The one thing I wanna let you guys know about Brinkley is they make the Brinkley Model Z, which is right there. Right there. That is a mid-profile fifth wheel. And here. And they also make the Brinkley Model G, which is right there. The second one, yep. Yeah, which is a toy hauler. Right. In both categories, they are one of the most expensive in their class. Right, right. Mo not most expensive fifth wheel, but most expensive for a mid-profile fifth wheel. Yep. And not most, ex well, and for toy haulers, one of the most expensive toy uh, all haulers. All around, yeah. So that's what they're transit, that's what they're continuing that path of travel trailer. Now note, this is not gonna be cheap but it's going to be quality right? to each their own. You ready? Yep. Model is Model Z Air 295. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 34 feet, nine inches. The dry weight is 9,068 pounds. Freshwater capacity, 62 gallons. Gray water, 80 gallons. Black water, 40 gallons, okay? And it says on the website that the hitch weight is 800 pounds. Now listen, I don't know who weighed that. To me, looking at this beast, that doesn't seem right, especially with that dry weight. That's 8% of the dry weight. Yeah. Always know before you tell, and regardless of the hitch weight, always use weight distribution bars. Yep. Right here, look at this. Auto leveling system, BAL. Love this. Nice. Love auto leveling. This is what I want to see in a travel trailer this price point. Also, they're using the Demco frame on this travel trailer, which is unique because, you know, 99% of the time we see a Lippert frame. Right, right. So that's interesting how they switched it up there. And look at this awesome propane carrying case. That's pretty I cool, actually. This. I mean, you got your propane tanks oh, right there. The big, that comes with the bigger tanks. Yep, yes. it sure does. Yes, I love the Brinkley logo on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yep. again, it's so hard to justify spending this amount of money on a travel trailer and we'll go over the price a little later but again if you are then give me quality yep by the way quality equals careful that weight. one you got yes. this quality equals weight oh so for the sure something's made the heavier it is that's part of the reason why this travel trailer is so heavy by the way i'm not recommending that you tow this with a half ton at all not at all uh, you definitely want to have a three-quarter ton for truck. sure for sure even though there is some half tons that could tow it we never recommend yep. that Safety's always first. Molded, beautiful fiberglass front cap that's painted. Brinkley, 295 Air. I love how they don't really care that it says Model Z because it's not a Model Z. It's a Brinkley. Right. Brinkley first, Model Z second. Yeah. You know? A lot of manufacturers like to play on the name. Brinkley wants to play off their name. Really nice storage. Love this material. Outdoor shower, hot and cold water on the outside. Speakers for the outside, battery disconnects, and light switch for the front cap. Can we see it in the daylight? No, you cannot. Okay, no problem. Yeah. No problem. But I do like the slam latch door right there. Coming on down, you're going to see this is a beautiful automotive style exterior look. We have the Brinkley windows, which are Lippard windows, but Brinkley was the first to do these squared off windows, so we classify them as the Brinkley windows. I love, again, how they're emphasizing Brinkley. Nice power awning with LED lights, and there's another power awning with LED lights on that slide out, and I like how contemporary it looks for the outside. Looks really nice. Right here on the door, if they are using the upgraded RV lock keyless entry system. Love that feature. Yes. By the way, 
Check this out, the Lippard, the uh, screen protector, slingshot, and screen assist. By the way, when you buy most brands, you, you then have to spend money to upgrade a lot of things. Right. Brinkley's just doing it all for you. For sure. Because again, they're building it the way that they would want to have it. Yep, yep. So when you guys complain about the price, same with me, it literally is you get what you pay for. You right. Know? Right here, the very nice slipper solid steps. And I'm not going to complain about the price, but you know what I'm saying. Yep. I might complain. Safety rail. Love that. I'm glad they did. I, you don't see that much in a travel trailer, so that's cool. Yes. And then that's how you lock it up there. Okay. Uh, Brinkley, they do use Asdell for their sidewall composite. Asdell is a uh, composite and it will never delaminate on you. Yep. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Goodyear Wrangler tires. I love those. 225-75R16C. Very nice. Cool. Workhorse. Coming on down, I love the squared off look. You know, when you see a Brinkley going down the road, you're like, man, that's a nice looking. It is, yeah, you notice it. Like, it's not just another RV, you know? Absolutely. Right here, look at what they're doing. The heavy duty ladder, I love this. Yeah. This is one of the best ladders, it's sturdy. It does get up on the roof. And do, do we remember what the roof was? Was it PVC? PVC, yep. yes. It is a PVC roof, fully walkable roof. Here's what's a little weird. Got storage right there. We do have a hitch behind you with a four pin connector. I think that means technically you can tow behind it. Yeah. I didn't know people could tow behind a travel trailer. Right, it's kind of weird. They got the sticker there, but um. yeah. Yeah. Check your local state laws. Right. Uh, by the way, we don't recommend that even for a fifth wheel. Right. But that's gonna be good for a bike rack. And again, they're giving you everything. It already comes with that Furion backup camera, which we love. And look at the rear design. I think it's fantastic. It is, yeah. Everything that Brinkley touch, it's just beautiful. <laughs> Furion instant hot tankless water heater. Again, something else that you don't need to upgrade. Coming on down, Will. Okay. 50 amp service. Right here's where you dump your black and gray tank. Yep. Very, very nice. And here is your hookups. Fresh water, city water connection, hot and cold shower. Your dumps, your Valterra dumps are electric, which is pretty cool. Potable water fill, potable. Potable. And right here, we have a little bit of power. Nice. Well, well, the outside of this unit looks great. Oh, by the way, congratulations to owner, to the person who buys this actual one. It's number 000002. Right, and one is probably the prototype that they're not selling. So For this sure. is the first. So really. this is the first. That's pretty cool. And it's a general RV customer. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because it's here at the Florida RV show. So congratulations to that customer who bought this from us at General RV. And what was the whole point of that? Oh, uh -huh. I don't know. But the outside of this unit looks great, but the inside looks even better. Come on, Will, let's go take a look. Okay. I feel like there was like a meaning on why I was saying that. Congratulations. I forget. To the first. Yeah, I guess congratulations. Congratulations to the first Whoa. Okay. All right, in the back, you got this living area, dining area, kitchen. Bunks right here. Yes. Oh, you know, sure this kitchen area. Okay. A nice little pan. Wow, very nice. Going on down. And then in the front, you have the bathroom right here. And the bedroom all the way in the front, right here. Wow, well, this is a beautiful unit and I'm really excited to show everybody, but before we do, let's give a big shout out to today's sponsor. One, two, three, Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, 
your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lipper customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. Perfect. And we're back. Will, where do you want to begin? Uh, in the back. Okay. So first and foremost, before we even get back there, again, attention to details. Yeah. This is beautiful. It is. Every other brand is just doing a door. Right. right? Like a little pocket sliding. Like, this is nice. This is artwork. This is what you see. This is what you're paying for. Right. Back here is the bunk room. Okay. Double over doubles. They feel sturdy. We got power USB and USB-C there. The windows do open up and a TV goes there. Down here, you have power and USB-C. Obviously, no TV on the lower bunk. It's okay. Okay. If it says stop, then, um, we'll, then, stop. then, then yeah. we'll restart. But um, obviously, there's no TV here. But I like... I don't know what this is for. I know, I was wondering, because it doesn't lift, right. but... Yeah, it's interesting. Interesting, yes, sir. Right here, we do have very nice storage. Okay. Love the interior color. Love the gold handles. This is designed absolutely beautiful. Whoever does the interior design for Rankly, A++++. Yes. And then right here, we do have the nice Brinkley windows. Very Daytime nice. shades and privacy shades. Cool. Okay. Over here, notice the flush floor in the All kitchen. All the way, yep. Will will show us that in just a moment. Okay. And then the flush floor on the living room area. Do you right notice there. what's missing? Uh, no dinette. No dinette. Yep. I've been saying it for years. You don't need a dinette. This works for a dinette. Just throw up some bar stools, okay? Yep. This totally works for it. Or there is a table that hooks up here. Or... I mean, guys, you're not eating inside. You're right. They're literally, you're either eating outside the camper, or if it's raining, you're going to a restaurant. You right, right. Or if you are eating in here, it's no big deal. Yeah. You know, I'd rather, yeah. I've been saying it for years, but frankly, freaking delivered on it. And you know what? There's a reason why there's a lot of chatter. There you go. Wireless cell phone charger storage. Look at the stitching in the sofa. Looks nice. It is nice. Really nice color. I think it's beautiful. No valances. Right, right. Beautiful contemporary theater seat, but also a sofa area. Even the pillows are nice. This reclines. I don't think that one does. Okay, which means. Yes. Yes. That, I almost like that even more than a reclining. Exactly. Um. Doesn't need to recline. That it does that. So there's three. So there's four seats or three reclines. You got cup holders there. Uh, charging station, power and USB, which is very nice. Yes. And it looks like something on the end comes out. Oh, there fancy! That's cool. Yes. Something else I want to point out to everybody, look at how tall yeah, the ceiling it's is. it's a curved ceiling here. So like, yeah, here it might be a little bit lower, but you're not standing there. But in the main living space, it feels great. Yes. Then over here, Will, against the wall, this is your TV entertainment center. So right. first and foremost, huge TV. Right. Wow. Right here, you have a little mantle. This is a new Furion air conditioning Oh, unit. I haven't seen that before. Okay, I like that dump mode like that too. Yep. And... Is it not ducted? Not ducted. It might be back there. Okay, back there, ducted, and then dump mode out here. Yeah, which cool. makes sense. Yep, for sure. Really nice big screen TV. It does swivel out. Fireplace that does produce heat from electricity. Okay. And well, days like that. I mean, we're in Florida. Hello. Right. Really nice storage there. I feel like what I meant to say with the VIN number is that by the time you're watching this, this unit's gone. Signed, sealed. Yeah. Number. I forget what I was trying to say about that. I wonder how many we did sell at the show. I know. Because we, the show hasn't happened yet. Right. By the time you're watching this, it has happened. Of course, yep. So congratulations to all the new Brinkley owners. Welcome to the General RV family. Yes. Really nice. Something that I want to point out, there's a lot of this going on of hitting. Uh-huh. It happens. It's an RV. But what Brinkley's doing is they're putting these little things like that. Little cushion things. Yep, yeah. exactly. Uh, you, you don't want to chip up your paint and everything. 
So that's the entertainment center. And then, Will, before you show us the kitchen, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this unit here uh, don't have a stock number, but this MSRP is $77,813. MSRP. Sale price. Because this is a current model year, I believe that Brinkley was, I believe that we are not allowed to advertise sale pricing. Correct. Same with Alliance and Grand Design. Yeah. So you'd have to contact us for sale pricing. But here's what I do know. We did a tour during the Florida RV Super Show and we shared pricing. Go on Facebook. They'll share pricing. And here's what I promise you. Contact our team at General RV and they will get you one thing and one thing only when it comes to Brinkley. And that is the absolute best price in America. That's right. So click the link down below. Go to generalrv.com slash matscash. You can also get there from our website, mattsrvrvs.com, or call 844-969-4033. Again, Will, there's anybody, if, if you're watching this within the first month, anybody who has one of these is because they bought it here at the Florida Super Show first right right so that's why we're going to be so aggressive on the pricing and by the time you're watching this the show wrapped up but we're still kind of hot off of that show so contact our team and i promise you guys we are going to get as aggressive as possible because i believe we sold the most brinkley's out of every rv company in the world for 2023 i believe that is a uh, gen fact check bing call cosmo and fact check and I think we did, and I know we want to go for a repeat for That's 2024. For sure. Will, show us this kitchen. Okay. I'll start over here. Mix it up a little. Here's not really the kitchen, but you do have your control panel there. Tangible buttons. Yep, I love it. You can push the button, you know, awning in and out. And they light up. And the on. lights. Yep. That's off. That's exactly. on. You don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure that out. Yep. You got your dimmer switch, max air fan, and I like how they covered it behind a door, too. For sure. Nice storage up top. And nice storage here as well. And you know what, Will? What? I was complaining about the price. Yeah. But when you compare, like, it really it's isn't. It's not that bad. No, not at all. Like, like the Model Z mid-pro fifth wheel, mm -hmm. it is substantially more yes. than the, the competitor. Hauler. Well, than the, the competitors. Yeah. And the toy hauler is. Model G is. This one, it's like, we did that. It's a little more. Like It's, it's a little it's more, but not, side. not. Yeah. Nice extension faucet here. Great backsplash. It's not real tile. Okay. Even though it almost looks like it. It's uh, like a plastic thing. And then you do have a nice big singable sink right here. Yes over here oh and solid surface countertops throughout the whole kitchen you got nice storage there your breakers and fuses there drawer right here okay. all the way down wow love it and then a big one there and then over here nice storage wow and again like you said they put the little bumper sticky thing there to protect the fridge up here it's gonna take a sec you do have a nice side-by-side -side refrigerator, and you use this little screw to keep it from moving. Furion refrigerator. Yep. And freezer right there. Ah, oh, it shows right you the there. temperature and everything. Yeah, that's cool, huh? I might have to get this in a sec. There we Lock go. her up, Will. And then over here, storage on both sides of the big Furion microwave. Furion everything. It is, yes. Good countertop space on both sides of the oven. Nice window there. Yeah, I really like this window here. Now, this one doesn't open, um, but, you know, just let in some natural light. Three burner Furion cooktop with the blue lights and oven. You got drawers yes. all the way around. Wow. Or all the way down. Down underneath. and around. And then almost all the way around. Wow. Unreal. Amazing. Wow, even more storage. Oh, yeah. Huge pantry here. There's power in there. And what did we call these shelves? Like semi-permanent or something like that? Semi-adjustable. Yeah. because They are adjustable shelves, but it takes but work. screw. Exactly. Which I love that because it's two screws. They're permanently adjustable. Gonna, yeah, it's going to keep it from um, moving on transport days. I love these lights up here. Nice big island. I actually like how they put the sink over there. Yes. So, 
Drawers here. Hey, it's the hair curler. It is. Or, I mean, towel paper holder. Yep. It's a two-in-one. Storage underneath. Yes. Drawer here. Wow. And drawer here. Hey, that's $276 trash cans. Sure is. I actually love that. I do, too. I felt like that would move it, or something, but I don't think no, it does. It does? No, it no, doesn't. No, it doesn't. There's just no, two. No, it's, it's screwed down. Yeah. All right, well, time to check out that shower. Okay, really quick over here. Oh, there's more? Just a little bit. Well, oh, very oh. nice. Yeah. And they're the collapsible portable bowls as well. Right, I'm assuming it slides in. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. And some power right there as well. Check out the bathroom. They use an encore shower. Wow, in a travel trailer, a travel huh? Travel trailer, yep. Wow. So one piece fiberglass feels like uh, pretty good, like for a travel trailer, good width, good depth, nice shower door. Skylight's in a great spot and they blacked it out. I wonder why they covered it. Maybe just to not like have the yeah. heat, yeah. you know, right on you. And I do like how in a travel trailer they're using this nicer shower head too. This definitely passes. Bing! That's shower test seal of approval. It sure is. You know, uh, they, they must know at Brinkley the way to my the way to our heart. Right. And that is the Encore Shower. Right. We are not sponsored by them. I don't even know who owns them. I don't know. CDI Inc. All I know is every Encore Shower is freaking fantastic. Yep. Beautiful mirror right here. No uh, medicine cabinet. Looked like it was moving, no, but... No, it's just a light right there. Okay. Um, you know what? Better than that cheap mirrored medicine cabinet I they agree. were using. Yeah. Nice solid surface in the bathroom as well. Very good storage here. Nice drawers and drawers. And then over here is just like a little bit of storage. And, Will, we forgot the liquify. Oh, womp, man. Womp. Actually, I picked Will up at the campground, and there was somebody from Canada camping yes. next to him. That was a fan. Hello, friend in the Shadow Cruiser. Um, and so we gave him the liquefy. Yeah. And I forgot to replenish. Oh, man. Porcelain toilet. Ah, uh, I was about to fail it because of this, but this is movable. Right. So, well, I mean, I don't even know why we even do the reviews of the bathrooms. Because this is a prime poom position. Bing! There you Next go. Next time, let's just show it for a second. Like, just right. show a picture. Because everything, everything about passes. this is fantastic. And then to wrap up the master bedroom, this is unique, a north-south bed. That's probably what's helping keeping that tongue weight down. Right. I'm telling you now, Will, storage here. I'm telling you now, there's no way it's going to be 800 pounds. Yep. Maybe I'm wrong. And again, the manufacturer on the website says it's 800 pounds. So please listen to them. Don't listen to us. Yep. And again, it doesn't really matter because you'll get weight too. Please get weight distribution bumps yes, anyway. You need it with this. But well, still very, very with anything nice. you really need it, but especially this. I think this lights up too. No, it doesn't. Okay. For some reason I thought it did. Couple drawers here. And you got cubbies there. Yep. Queen size bed. Love the headboard. Love the decor right here. Right here you have a place to mount the TV. I'm actually surprised they didn't give you the TV. I am too. Just because they give Got you Got a little coat or purse hook right here. Love these. Yep. Love these. And the reason why these are important, because like you can do command strips anywhere. Yeah. But they're not screwed in like right. that. Right. And then this, we got storage here. The prep for washer and dryer? No. And I'm okay. not mad at that. Okay. Like. Not for a travel trip though. Right. Like you there's know. only so much you can do. Yeah. Good storage all the way down. Yeah. And there is storage under the bed. And then look at that, Will. That table for the sofa and yep. two bar stools for the kitchen island is already comes with it. That's awesome. They really, really did think of everything. Yep. And then actually, I think they give you an upgraded mattress. Yeah, they give you a bamboo mattress, which is better than the other mattresses that other manufacturers give you. Okay. That are just like thin and chintzy. We still re recommend upgrading your mattress. But like, you might not need to if that one works for you. Right. Whereas the other ones, I don't care. Like, you know, you don't need to upgrade them day one. You need to upgrade them before you even pick up. Yeah, exactly. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give you three things we love about the Model Z and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do you want to do first? Three things we dislike? Yes. Okay. Ready? Yep. Number one, TV I was placement. thinking the exact same thing. This is absolutely horrible. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. 
I'm not saying this is horrible because because of this you get other things. Right, right. And we'll talk about that later mm -hmm. in just a moment. But isolating this down to just TV and just sofa placement, I hate it. Yep. I do not want to turn my head to watch the TV. It is what it is for this floor plan. That is dislike number one. Well, what's dislike number two? Dislike number two for me is going to be, um, it's kind of different, but the weight for a travel Dude, trailer. you stole my number three. Really? Yeah, you really did. Yeah. Like, you really need a three-quarter ton truck for this. Right. You know, for them. Yeah, again, maybe 3% of the half tons can tow it. Right. But for the most part, you really need a three-quarter ton truck. And that's kind of like a perk to most travel trailers. You know, Correct. You can tow with an F-150. Um, and, you know, I, again, I think even at 800 pounds, that's a lot of tongue weight. So, this is a big mamma jamma. It is. And that 9,000 pounds of dry weight, that is before you load anything up. Oh, yeah. Here. Yep. So I concur with that. Will, you actually stole my number three. Oh, no. Just because of, like, how heavy it is. Yep. Uh, so that's number two. And then number three, I'm telling you guys. They knocked it out of the park. They did. So number three for me, there was number three for me is just going to be this back room. Yeah. Um, it's just really tight, really small. Um, I don't. Not only that, how is somebody supposed to get up on top? There's no place for a ladder. That's what that's or, for. Okay, that yeah, still. But still, it's tough. You know what I almost would have rather seen, like removing this top bed altogether and then just having this. You know, yeah. I, I don't know if anybody who's gonna like, I don't know. Here's what I'm saying, and this is gonna sound really chintzy and stupid, or you know what, I will combo it because I don't have dislikes about this unit. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna combo it with these window blinds. Yeah, I've always hated those. Um, they're totally fine. They really are fine. Uh, but we prefer the MCD blinds. But again, and not only that, see, here's something else that I will say. We hate these style. Yeah. But like, this is the best version of the style. Yeah. Exactly. Man, well, I was really hoping you had a dislike because my third one was going to be, uh, <laughs> the weight. The weight. That's three things we don't like about this unit. Now it's time for three things we love about it. Okay. Ready for this? Yep. Remember how I said how much I hate this? Yeah. But to, because of this, you're able to get this. Right. Absolutely massive. A kitchen island with no sink. It's a it's a bar. It's a it's a dinette. Solid surface countertops. Tons of storage. Residential style fridge. This is one of the best kitchens in a travel trailer. Let alone a travel trailer with bunk beds. Right. That is love number one. Will, what's love number two? Um. Well, I, I don't want to steal your love number three because I feel like I know what it is. What's that? All right. Well, then I'll steal it. Steal no it. No dinette. Yeah. So it's kind of. I was gonna for you, yeah. I was forgetting that. Yeah. But so I talk love to me. How there's no dinette again. It's a travel trailer. You know, they're trying to keep it small enough, but get the bunks in, get a good kitchen, get it. You know. Get rid of the dinette. Yeah. You use that 3% of the time. Yep. It's just, you know, you don't need it. You can put the table in there on rainy days. You can sit here. Yep. Uh, it's not needed. Dude, the, the, the dinette days are over. Yeah. And for those of you guys that don't know, I do have a travel trailer myself. And my next travel trailer will not have a dinette because we don't even use the dinette. Right. That is love number two. Well, I'm going to give it four likes. You know why? Because I can and nobody can stop me. Uh, love number three is going to be that bathroom. Yeah. You know, when, when I talked to Alliance, Al I helped Alliance with my travel trailer, with my right. Alliance Delta. By the way, Delta and Model Z Airs, two complete different classes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This competes with like a reflection. Correct. In like an open range. Right. You know, in like big, big Cougars. Yeah. You know, big, yep. big, big travel trailers. But, um... When I gave, I gave Ryan Brady like a list of, was it 20? Something like that, And they that, did yeah. 19 things, mm -hmm. or it was 30 and they did 29 things. Right. The one thing that they didn't do was the Encore shower in right. my unit. Right, I'm not saying my shower's bad, but I don't know who Encore is. Uh, never heard of the company until the RV industry. And I don't even know if they make other stuff. But what I do know is when we see that label and it says Encore shower, boom, yep. game over fantastic for the bathroom right so that's number two and then number three will is going to be the way this is built the fit finish and quality right and features okay 
Brinkley makes this like they're buying it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. You know, they're not... Tr- Brinkley does not care about the competition. This is $77,000 MSRP. Mm-hmm. They're not trying to be at 60 They're not watching what everybody else is they're selling for. They're not trying for. to be... Oh, well, we got to be at under 75. Yo, put it in. Lippert screen, put it in. Auto leveling, put it in. Backup camera, put it in. And we'll price put around it, in. it. We'll figure it out later. Mm-hmm. Give us the absolute best. And that's what we will build our brand off of. Funny thing on how that works and how in just a year they developed such a following. It's fantastic. It is. Guys, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, we are partnered with General RV, which is the number one Brinkley dealership in the entire country. So if you're looking for a Brinkley, you don't need to pay an extra high price because it's the new kid on the block. Go to GeneralRV.com slash Cash. Reach out to a member of my team, and they will get you the absolute best price in America. And here's what I will say. If you don't live near General RV, still reach out to our team. You know why, Will? Because we'll do one of two things. One, we'll give you a price that your local dealer is going to have to match, yep. hopefully. Or two, we will make it worth your while to drive two hours, five hours, ten hours to purchase from our team because yeah. we are that much cheaper and better than the competition. That's right. Will, what do you got to say? Guys, thank you all so much for watching. It's so cool seeing what Brinkley did here. And I just love everything that they continued from the Model Z over to the Model Z travel trailer. Um, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so thank much you. for watching. And Will, we'll see you next time.